Malone. I got a play on my phone. You know. Hey guys, what is up? Modern Hoops here, and I am back with a brand new video. And sorry for not uploading for about a week. Sorry, I've been really busy with a lot of tests and finals and all that good stuff. But without any further ado, let's just get right into the video. Jimmy Butler. What is Jimmy Butler's legacy? What will he be remembered as? Will he be remembered as one of the best or just a big disappointment? And this is what I'm going to be talking about today. And we must first rank where he stands today to other top players in his position. Now, Jimmy and Butler plays two positions, shooting guard and small forward, but we're going to be focused on his natural position, which is being a small forward. And again, when you compare his stats to other great players like Paul George and Gordon Hayward, he averages 15.6 points, 4.8 rebounds, and 3.1 assists. And that's on par with a lot of the other top small forwards in the league today. I mean, he fits right into the modern NBA. I mean, he is a great elite scorer and a great defender. I mean, just during the 2016 2017 be a regular season he averaged 1.9 steals per game and to name some of his accomplishments he gathered over the course of his career he is a three-time all-star a three-time all-defensive team member he also was the 2014-2015 most improved player and we also see this great performance during the playoffs he averages 16.8 points 4.1 rebounds and 2.8 assists so overall, Jimmy Butler is a great player, but why are talks of him being overrated starting to rise? And the answer is pretty simple, I mean it's pretty clear. His stats and play does it churn into wins, both in the regular season and the postseason. Jimmy Butler and the Chicago Bulls has either not or barely made the playoffs, and during the playoffs they always get taken out of in the first round. And most of the blame either goes to him or the Bulls organization for not being able to get talent around him. But he has made it to the semifinals but have always lost and he has never been in an NBA final appearance. And to be honest, you can't throw all the blame at Jimmy Butler. He has always done it by himself. Yes, I knew that he had Derrick Rose, but as you know, Derrick Rose is one of the most unreliable players in the NBA because of his injury. And he just wasn't there when you needed him the most. And also, I know he had Rajon Rondo and D Wade, but they are former all-stars out of their primes so he had to do a lot by himself and you could say i'm just making an excuse because of what russell westbrook did by himself but to be honest russell westbrook is just a beast and to be honest you can only go so far doing it by yourself you're gonna need help you're gonna need someone to put some of the work on because to be honest during the nba history a team won a championship by having at least two all-stars on their team and jimmy Butler is known to show up during the big moments but his team not so much and as far as legacy we don't know what he'll leave behind yet and yes you could say he is still a young player at 27 but you got other young players like Kawhi Leonard at the age of 25 are already making a name a legacy for himself so do I think Jimmy Bull is overrated no and no what far from that yes he still has a lot to prove but to be honest he just never gotten the right pieces around him so let me know what you guys think do you think Jimmy Butler is overrated I would honestly love to hear you guys out in the comments section below also if you guys did enjoy this video be sure to hit that like button and be sure to hit that subscribe button for weekly NBA videos and I'll be releasing some new NBA videos this week so be sure to stay tuned and be sure to check out my other videos and I hope that you guys have an amazing day and I will see you all later peace and just levitate